Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today we're going to make a card with a little bit of a difference and you can do this with any shaped card as long as it's got nesting dies in it that will create different sizes you can get the same effect. So for today's card I'm going to stick with the heart die. So these are the dies that are in the small heart favour box and we're not actually making a box so we won't need these box pieces but we will need these. So my colour scheme for today is going to be lilac, a very pale lemon and some white. And we can go with this set, we can go from making boxes like this to making small cards or the bigger card with the bigger set that will go inside. But today we're going to make a triple heart easel card. And I'm going to show you how to do that using these nesting dies. So I'm going to be making my bases in white card. So I'm just scoring one piece down the middle and this is going to be the base for my easels. So we'll give that a really good crease in. And we'll just put this on one side because we'll only get two cards out of this. So you'll need to do a, the same again for your third easel. So we're going to take the largest die and we're going to place it over the card so that it's just off the edge along the top. Now you can take that into place if you wish. Now the die that goes with the trellis is the next die down. So we're going to do exactly the same with that. And we're going to put those through the die cutting machine. And then with another piece of card, we're going to do exactly the same with the next die down. And this is the one with the double stitched edge on it. So we can do the same with that and cut that as well. And that will give us three bases for our easel card. So now we have our easel cards cut and they're joined at the top because we kept it over the fold. But this is a flat edge. So to give us the complete the complete heart shape, we're going to use the same dies again and the same white card and we're going to cut another layer that will sit on each of these. So there we have the next layer that will complete the heart shape on our easel and that's going to sit on the top. But now we need another layer. So we're going to move that one out of the way and we're going to move that along to that layer, that one to that layer and we're going to bring in the next die down for that layer. And now you need to decide what colour you want to do those. So I'm going to do mine lilac and I'm going to cut a layer from each one of these hearts. So now with those layers cut, that's going to layer on top of the white heart, which will layer onto the base card. But don't glue them in yet, because now we're going to need another layer. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move that one out of the way. We're going to move that one to there, that one to there, and bring in the smallest. And these I'm going to cut with the very pale lemon card and that will create another layer for my easels. Now from the lilac and the lemon card I've cut some flowers and from the green I've cut some leaves. So let's put some of this now together. So all these are going to be done in exactly the same way. So we'll start with the bigger one. So open it out and take one of the ends and fold it in towards the middle and make sure you give that a really good crease. Now once you've done that, take the next piece down, which is your other white one, and that's going to be glued just along this bottom edge and you'll stick that in place, marrying it up nice and neatly so that this is what you will then have. So once you've done that, you're going to add the next layer down, which is your lilac one, which will leave just a small border around the edge. And 
And then once you've got that in place, you can then add your yellow one, which again will leave another small border around the edge. And you're going to do exactly the same with the other pieces. So once you have the front of your easels done, you can leave them as they are. But if you wanted to, you could go through the process again and create smaller easels to sit on the inside of your card. So you would use those two, then you would move that one along to create that and bring this in and that will give you the next layers for this middle size easel. And then again, move that along, take the smallest one and that will create the layers for this one. But that's up to you. That's another stage that you can go through if you wish. OK, now once you've got that far, you can take your flowers and your leaves and your sentiment and anything else that you want to add and you can decorate the front of these three easel cards. But I'm going to put mine together before I start to decorate it. So I'm going to open this one to the depth that I would like it to be opened and then I'm going to add some more foam tape just along this, this curved edge along there and that's just to raise it up to allow the other piece to catch underneath it. So we'll add that along there. We'll add some glue. Now don't come right down to the bottom on this V because it's not going to glue all the way to the bottom. So we can open this one up. We can add this one inside. And that's going to catch on there. So that's why we raised it up a little bit. So now we can fasten that down. And there's no glue down here. And then we can do exactly the same with this piece and see where it is we want it to fit. So again, we're just going to put some foam tape along the curved edge and we're going to glue the back then, but not right the way down to the V. And we'll do the same thing with this. We'll open it out to where we think we would like it open. We'll add this one in place. This is where they need to be really creased quite well on that back along there. And then they will stay open a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Now that needs a stop on it along there. So I think we'll use um, a little sentiment or the flowers to hold that open. So there's my finished easel card. I've dressed it up with diamante and the flowers. And I've used the words with love from the Ultimate Words die set. That can now be opened up to stand, ready to you, for you to give to your recipient. And each piece tucks behind the other so that your card will stand in the three layers. There's another one that I've done. This is in pink and turquoise, but I haven't finished this off yet. So the items that I've used are the Ultimate Words and I've used the Heart Favour Box and this is the small die set. And there are your two cards. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please join me on the next one. And why not subscribe to my channel so that you'll never miss a video. And if you click the notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.